Dear Trump, Dear Donald J. Trump, After the Florida incident, I think gun control came into the public conversation much more, but the way Trump took the conversation to having a greater proliferation of guns is the wrong way to go. He said we should give guns to teachers, should pay them more for having guns. And then when people said, oh, that's such a stupid idea, why would you give guns to teachers? That just makes it much more dangerous at school. He said, oh, well, let's have 20% of teachers have guns and give them more pay and other stupid stuff like that. I think the three things we should do with gun control, especially in relation to school shootings, is rebuild schools or build schools in a way that they're defensive so it isn't easy to get into the school. Second thing is to raise age limits on buying guns. The guy who got the gun was 19 years old and he had a semi-automatic AR-15. That kid can't even open a can of beer but he can get a gun that can kill 17 kids in the span of several minutes. The day after the shooting the Florida State House said we're not going to take up a bill that bans semi-automatic weapons. The biggest argument against banning those weapons is that if you don't have a good guy with a gun, the bad guy with a gun will get the gun illegally and just shoot the person who doesn't have a gun. There are also other arguments about the Second Amendment being something for people to rise up against their government. The NRA considers the first words of the Second Amendment are a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Well, the first two words, first three words, are really important. A well-regulated militia is necessary to the security of a free state. Well, the government has fighter jets, F-16s, tanks, no semi-automatic weapon or any type of gun that civilians hold can rise up against the government. Back in the 18th century, the military had the same amount of guns, same level of guns as maybe a hunter who lived in the back farms of Virginia had. So the even nature of that argument does not hold up to modern scrutiny because if you have, nobody today is going to have an F-16 or a tank to rise up against the government. Or you should act and you should um, enact change like everybody else does and cast a ballot instead of rising up and shooting people. I think we should have a federal ban on semi-automatic weapons. Um, the requirement for background checks should be at least a one-week period where state governments, local governments, and the FBI should be able to conduct a background check on you if you have any criminal record, if you have any uh, mental issues if you've been declared to be mentally ill by a court. That should all be done before you can get a gun. And then a l another problem that arises with that is that states don't report the crimes that they document to the federal government. 38 states, I think 37 or 38 states still do not report who is mentally ill or who is not suitable to have a gun to the federal government and you need that centralized database where the FBI can look at every request that comes in, rubber stamp it to go through or put a halt to some dangerous person like Nicholas Cruz getting a gun. The level of hypocrisy displayed by the Republican Party toward your nomination has been astounding. You are the embodiment of everything that the Republican Party should hate. The, Rep the Republican Party prides itself in being the moral backbone of America and being morally upright, but you have displayed none of that. You have constantly belittled every single minority, impossible, and women as well. You have gone into long depths just to go out of your way to just disparage others. Not only that, but you have completely just corrupted the ideal American family that you have, that your party has sought to create and to uphold. One of the comments that you made that really stood out to me, that was really hypocritical of the Republican Party to support, was your claim that in order to pick up women, you have to grab them by the pussy. I, I cannot begin to explain to you how utterly disgusting that statement is, how it disparages the whole sanctity of marriage, how it 
disparages the whole idea of a of an American family, how it disparages women as an entire group, and you consistently objectify women and continue to keep this sort of image alive. You have em emboldened racial hate groups like the KKK and other white supremacist groups. Before your candidacy for presidency, many of these groups were in relative hiding. They were still they they still hold a root in American history and continue to try to influence American politics. But before your candidacy, we were strong enough and they were weakened enough to not be able to have a huge impact on our entire society. Upon your election to President of the United States, these groups have just blossomed under your rule. They have gone to the point where these fringe ideas have now become suddenly mainstream to where anything is possible on that on the extreme far right side you have these groups such as that were marching in charlottesville that would never have gotten the type of national attention and never would have gotten the type of emboldened stance had you not come around and run for president your entire presidency is run on hate i cannot stress this enough everything that you have done revolves around hatred for others and scapegoating other groups to make yourself look better somehow but I tell you this much, America is not fooled. We can see right through your hypocritical statements, through your lies, and through all of your BS. We understand what's fact and what is false. We understand that alternative facts aren't really real facts. They're just an opinion on a non-factual statement. We will organize against you. We know a bad apple. And unfortunately, when you were elected, a lot of people did not see that. But keep in mind, your presidency has shown to all of America what you really stand for and what you will do and what you have done. America knows not to make the same mistake twice. And hopefully next time we'll be able to see a demagogue like you ahead of time before you're elected. I hope that whatever emotional satisfaction you saw from the presidency you're achieving. Um, Maybe the military parade will work, maybe not, but just know when the tank rolls by your hotel, it's really not going to help satisfy whatever emotional help you need because you do need a lot. Uh, I believe in honesty, I don't want to lie to you, and you're mentally deranged. So get some help from some military psychologists. They'll do it for free probably. Yeah. I think you need help. Oh, yeah, what was I going to say?